So in the first video, we were trying to use Bootstrap to create a simple website and I was showing you how easy it is to use Bootstrap documentation to easily prototype a site. So this is where we left off. We had a simple site that just said, hello world. We we're trying to create something similar to this. Obviously it wouldn't be a carbon copy, but something pretty close. So I'm going to go back to Bootstrap 4 and make sure we have the documentation handy. There we go. And the next thing we're trying to we're gonna to try to do is to create a menu. So let's do that. First, let me open Sublime Text and open our project. Awesome. So there we have it. That's our project file. And as you can see, hello world, that's the H1 text that appears over here. So to get a menu going, we're going to place the menu, the navigation bar somewhere right here. So let's say navbar goes here. Good. Now to bootstrap, we'll go to components since the navigation is part of the components. And I'm going to scroll down to navbar right here. So Bootstrap gives us um, a couple of navigation options. So you have this with text and a search box over here. Obviously, we won't need a search box because these guys don't have, well, actually, they have a search box, but it's not really the same as this. So um, I'm going to pass on that one. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then this one is uh, a logo with text. I don't think we need this. This one is just text with some many options. I actually think we can start with this option, uh, but we're going to change this text into an image. So we'll probably borrow this uh, image tag over here and replace it, um, and replace this navbar tag with that one. So let's let's try to recreate this image. So all what we have to do is simply copy this code over here. So I'll just do copy and I'll paste that right underneath the comment. So there we go. Now, let me probably space this and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Let's see what it looks like. Great, so that's our menu right there. We have navbar, which is the uh, supposed to be something like the logo and then you have your menu options, right? So as you can see, the menu is actually gray edge instead of white as we have it over here. We're going to change that. Um, we have the color because Bootstrap comes with a couple of um, of color classes and BG Faded is one of them. So when we backspace BG Faded, the menu becomes white um, again. But for now, I'll keep it gray until we define the elements below. Okay, so we'll get back and actually put in the real stuff or we could actually do that right now. So you can go in if you want um, and edit home to read um, our work. And then what else do they have? Get involved. You can do that. About us. And then let's say membership and given. Obviously, uh, this is highlighting because your compiler might read this, so in the real site, it's better to use the codes instead of using that sign. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's see how that looks like. Did I save that? Good. And there we have our menu items listed. Now this is disabled because Bootstrap is applying the class disabled. So you can use that to disable a button that can come in handy um, if you're doing a drop down and you don't want people to actually click on the link but on its um, uh, children element. But for now, I'm just going to backspace the disabled class and that's going to highlight it. There we go. Beautiful. Now, as you can see, there are two buttons over here. There's the donate and then there's the renew button. Now, with Bootstrap, you can easily add buttons. So I'm actually going to extend the LI items, create another uh, LI section and inside these anchor tags I'm actually going to create a button 
content of this. And I'm going to call this button, what do they call it? Donate. So let's start with that and save it. Okay, let's see how that looks like now. Okay, so now you have your donate button right here. And then they have another button called renew. So let's do that. I'm just going to copy this code again and just duplicate it. Bring it right here. Call this renew. Now guys, as I said in the previous video, I haven't done this already. So I'm basically live coding. And so that's why I'm moving back and forth. Um, so forgive me if it takes me a while to make certain decisions. But okay, there we go. So we have the renew button uh, right there. Now obviously, it's not well designed. Um, it looks a bit ugly. Uh, this is when bootstrap classes comes in. So I'm gonna apply a class um, called BTN. That's basically the button class. Um, bootstrap already has styling for buttons. So once you just apply the class BTN, it just shapes the button better with some curved edges, applied border radius over there. And I'm gonna do the same for the donate button. We'll work on the colors later, maybe through custom CSS, just so that it's easier um, to follow. So there we go. So you have donate and then you have um, renew right there. Obviously we need to do some line height for these things to match uh, at this point. Okay, so we'll come back to arranging these navigation items to the right so that it makes much more sense. But I just want to go ahead and uh, build the section uh, of, 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 the, of the site. Now, I said I really don't like uh, carousels. Well, what happened to the carousel? Looks like we had a carousel at some point. Well, not anymore. So I guess we're not going to do that. But for this section, I'm going to use another bootstrap component called Jumbotron. So Jumbotron is basically for highlighting text that you want to show or you want to give prominence to on your page. So it's right here. It's under components Jumbotron. And this is an example. It has your main text, some subtext under it, and it has a call to action button over here. So like a land more or something of the sort. So basically this is, this is how they, they look like. So I am going to copy this code, which is very similar to this. And so copy, and I'm going to paste it right in a code. So the Jumbotron is going to come right after the navigation. So let me just comment and call this Jumbotron section. And I'm going to paste that code right here. Let's do that. Good. There we go. Now I'm going to take out this H1 element because it's already in the Jumbotron, as you can see over there. Uh, so I'm going to take out this H1 and save. Now let's look at what our site looks like. There we go. So we now have a section. Uh, where we can put our important text. Now let me go ahead and try to save this image. Let's see if I can get that image. Okay, save, image saved. I'm going to go to downloads. We have the image over there. Um, and then I'm basically going to copy the, this, copy, desktop, demo, images, drop. I'm gonna call it, let's just say BG. For background, it's descriptive enough. Now let's go ahead and give the class Jumbotron a background image. So I'm not gonna insert the style um, into the HTML. I'm just gonna uh, open a separate document. So. Let me, this is strange. CSS, styles, there we go. Now in the style, you can ignore this document. I probably saved it there by accident for another lesson I'm working on. So we're just going to focus on the style and I'm going to write CSS to basically target this guy over here. So CSS to target Jumbotron. So.